He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. And on the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Please be seated. In previous years, the tradition has been to have, uh, as the names of those who have gone on ahead of us are spoken, the family would walk forward with the uh, flower. But we determined that this year it's best not to expose any more than we have to, so we just have the flowers on the altar. So every year on this occasion, we remember the lives of those whose service, hopes, accomplishments, and faith have touched our own. Let us be reminded of these words of assurance from Scripture. In dying, Christ destroyed our death. Rising, Christ restores our life. Christ will come again in glory. As in baptism, these faithful brothers and sisters put on Christ, and so in Christ they are clothed in glory. So we are reminded of those who were baptized this year, who joined the family, joined the, uh, the saints in light. Tilly Ann Dietrich, Millie Clara Smith, Colton Eugene Bankin, Blake Lillian Prothman, Autumn Ann Brandt, Hadley Beck Minders, and Tenley Rose Minders. Let us pray. God of Abraham and Sarah, of Moses and Deborah, of Mary and Joseph, of Paul and Phoebe, God of our fathers and mothers, and God of all creation, we praise you for the great company of all those who have finished their course in faith and now rest from their labors. We praise you for those dear to us, whom we name in our hearts. We praise you for your children, whom you have taken to yourself, as we remember Marilyn Reich, Linda Bronson, James Rohde, and Arnold Schutter. God of our ancestors, God of our here and now, these are your holy ones. Make us to be your holy ones in this generation, in community with those who have done your bidding, now unbounded by space and time. Help us to press on in the company of your saints everywhere as we praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please join me. These and others are your holy ones until we join with your people in praise at your throne. We press on. And in the company of your saints from every age, we praise you. One God, world without end. Amen. I invite you to please rise for the prayers. Almighty God, in your great love and forgiveness, you call us your saints. Direct us now in your way of servanthood so that the whole world will know your unending love. Lord, in your mercy. O oh God, you are the living God, and you give life. Shower your creation with blessings and abundance. Sustain us with your blessings, so that we may never cease to protect and find joy in your creation. Lord, in your mercy. <laughs> you are God, and you are over all the nations. You raise up leaders to govern the nations. Direct the leaders of the nations 
that they might care for others, even the most lowly. And this week, we pray especially for our own country and our own government as we exercise the privilege of voting this on Tuesday. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. You look upon the lowly and call them blessed. Bless the poor, the hungry, and those who suffer persecution. Comfort those who mourn, those having to make hard decisions, those who are lonely and are still, and all who are in need. We lift up Carol Tiki, Kelly Carlton, Pam Schmidt, Rose Mondragon, Marilyn Hesch, Bob Madsen, the Titanka Care Center and all of its residents and staff, Wally and Sue Heyer at the death of Sue's mother, and the Schutcher family at the death of Terry. Lord, in your mercy. Oh, merciful Father, you redeem your people and seal us with the promise of your Holy Spirit. Guide the church, your body on this earth, that we may embrace our identity as your saints. Fill our leaders with courage to spread the good news. Strengthen those studying for the ministry and give them wisdom and understanding in their studies. Rejoicing in hope, we lift our prayers to you, most gracious Lord, trusting that you have received them in your care. All this we pray in the name of Jesus, our Lord, who's taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And now receive the benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord look upon you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with all of his favor and give you his peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We continue with our closing hymn. For all the saints, verses 1, 2, and then verse 4.
forgot to mention the Christmas boxes are still out in the narthex, if you please help yourself. I remind you then that we are all saints, and we all began at the waters of baptism. So now I say, go in peace, O saints, to serve the Lord. Thanks.